all right guys before the wire that goes to this voltage regulator runs from the stator which is on the right side of the machine and it comes across and it goes behind your oil filter it sits right behind your oil filter and it hooks on a piece right there and then it comes up and it runs up through here and it goes around to the front and bolts on right there now what you've got to look for is there's a piece that rubs the motor you can see where mine rubbed through right there just barely i don't know if that was what's causing my problem or not but if it wasn't it would have shortly so that's definitely an issue so if you've got a sportsman 570 you need to crawl under there you need to look behind your oil filter check that wire pull that plug out and try to reroute that thing somehow or either uh, put some kind of covering on it now what I've done I'm putting this new one on and what I've done is loosened it got it loose let me pull it back to the new position I'm gonna put it in you can see where I'm going here with it There's where the wires come off your motor. Now what I've done on the old one, I cut part of the plastic wire loom. I stripped this wire loom off the old wires. I cut a piece of it off and I fastened it around my wires here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mount it somewhere up in here. So it's away from everything. All right. All right. I'll be back with you in a second. All right, guys. Here's the new voltage regulator that I ordered from Amazon. Do a comparison on it it's for the Polaris Sportsman 570. This is the old one that I took off and the plug, I cut the plug on it so I could pull it through the, there's a rubber boot you pull it through when you take the old one off instead of getting in there and cutting that and pulling on all the other wires on the stuff I'm keeping. I knew I wasn't going to use this anymore so I just cut that off and it slid right through. I'll show you that location in a little bit. Alright, here's the new one. Box it come in. Sit, do a comparison side-by-side -side comparison on them the wire gauge and thickness appear to be the exact same on that and on this portion here too look like the exact same piece All right. this one was a lot cheaper than the OEM one so uh, we'll see how it works I'm gonna put it on there stick it on there I'll give you guys updates and see how it holds out and uh, we'll check it out alright guys so I got the new one mounted right there we've run the wires go up to your bar right there if you do ha still have your radiator in here you can go in through the top uh, through your top hatch but because I got a radiator relocate I don't uh, do that I just go in through the bottom right here and get to that bar all right and then we run the other wire over here go around the other side run it around right through there we zipped it right there come around give a little slack in case I've got to unplug it out on the trail or something and then I've mounted it right here to the frame got it plugged in there and I've got this one running out mounted right there probably put another zip tie right there to hold it 
sturdy as well. But there you go. That's it. All right. Let's give it a turn and see how it does.